mama told me hey, not to sell work. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another EMC vlog. Hope you're all having an amazing day. Today I did go thrifting, but to be honest, I filmed my 100th vlog or my 100th video, I guess, on this channel. So I wanted it to be kind of special and I'm gonna be putting a bunch of effects. It's gonna be like very cinematic and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna be releasing it tomorrow. So this is the 99th vlog and today I'm just gonna show you the finds I found as well as a couple eBay unboxings and just some dope stuff. So jumping straight into it, I actually got this the other day and I realized I didn't even show this in the thrift haul. Like everyone's like dope Gatorade snapback, but I didn't even show you guys, I did cop this and it says life is a sport, drink it up with the Gatorade and the basketball logo. I'm gonna restore this hat just because it does have creases right here. I'm gonna try to get this really nice, but to be honest, the inside is flawless. I'm not sure if this is vintage or new age. It looks brand new. Next, we'll be jumping into, I think how you pronounce it is Makari, Mercy, Makari. Anyway, it's an, it's pretty much like a Craigslist or like an eBay. You could sell your stuff. I went on the other day and I found this really sick Polo Sport, like a laundry style bag. And what I'm going to be using this for is to sending out packages. Um, it has a really deep bag. It has a zipper up top. So it has two, but the really sick is, let's say I get a bunch of packages, you guys are killing it, as you always do, and I need more space, well look, I can unzip the middle part, bam, look how nice this bag is guys, oops, I didn't unzip it all the way, but there we go. So now we have the three layers, so this is perfect again for packages. If I have a bunch of big packages, then obviously this won't work because the hole is kind of small. I believe this is made for laundry though, uh, bringing back and forth. If you only have a little bit of laundry, then you can zip up the middle part and then only use the top and bottom. But as you see, it is Polo Sport. I got this for $30 shipped, which is an absolute steal. Uh, I saw on round two's video, they bought this for 60. So I imagine it's worth about 80 to $100. So that was a nice find. The next item is an eBay purchase. I do purchase on eBay. As you guys know, I love Tom. So I always look for steals and deals for the personal collection. And I'll show you guys. This is the picture that was on eBay. Now you guys, oh, it's not focused. And if you look at the picture, it looks like it's like a faded black, maybe a gray, right? But the Tommy is in perfect condition, whatnot. Let me show you what came in the mail, guys. A forest green Tommy Hilfiger. I messaged the seller and I was like, hey, I'm not sure if maybe you got this mixed up, but I actually looked at the description and it did say green. So that just shows you how important lighting is. I sent her a picture of this. I was like, hey, look at your picture and look at my picture. I was like, see the difference of what good lighting could have? This is what it could look like, but this is what she posted. So, so she was very thankful. She's like, thank you so much. I just started selling on eBay. So for everyone that is starting a website, make sure you guys invest in good lighting. I use this ring light, which is right. Can you guys see it right there? I got it off of Amazon, I believe for $100 ships or something like that, but you can find much cheaper lights or you can find more expensive. But always make sure you use a light. The natural lighting clearly won't do justice because like I said, I thought this was a black, faded black, but as you guys see, it's 100% forest green. And honestly, I'm not like, I'm not mad at all. Forest green is a very hard color to come across with this. Black is, you know, you find that everywhere. Black, you can go to Urban Outfitters and buy a black Tommy Hilfiger big logo. But forest green, super rare. So I was pretty hyped and it was a nice surprise. Then jumping into the stuff that I thrifted today, which you guys will see in tomorrow's video. We have this Polo Ralph Lauren Burgundy size XL with the four screen horse. I believe we got one of these the other day, but it wasn't a size XL, it was a different size. Everything will be for sale, by the way. Uh, link down below, make sure you guys go check it out. And for everyone that's ordering packages, just be patient, guys. Um, I had to go out and buy shipping labels. I literally went through all of that, so I'm packaging. As soon as this video is done uploading and airing, I am packaging everything and shipping out everything tomorrow. So I'm sorry, just be patient, but you guys will get it soon. We have this size large Crooks and Castles. 
Size 30-30 vintage Tommy Hilfiger jeans. No, I'm not taking the patch off just because it has Tommy Hilfiger on the side. I figure maybe someone would want to buy these. And a size 30-30 is pretty common size. Now keep in mind this is vintage, so it is going to be the baggy style. It's not going to be slim fit at all, so just keep that in mind. 2XL Adidas Trackstar jacket with the white and the three black stripes. This is probably the nicest piece we found today. This is a FUBU size XL leather jacket. See FUBU right there. On the left side, we have FUBU patch. Anything on the right sleeve? No, but it is accent with the black, tan, and red. This is so nice. And then honestly, just by looking at it, I have to do more adjusting, but the leather seems very good quality for the age. I think I'm gonna do a custom piece on this just because there is a little stainage on the front, which I didn't realize till after I bought it. So I might do a custom piece on this. I'm not sure what though, because it is white. Maybe I'll do paint splats. It is a size large, which is my size. So if I customize it and no one likes customization, then I'll just keep it for personal. But it is a Polo Sport crew neck. I might try to wash out the stains just in case. We've been finding these pretty often. This is a size large got the red polo ralph lauren bomber again we found one in green and then we found one in khaki which the khaki one sold pretty fast because i priced it very cheap this one i'll probably price pretty cheap as well the green one's just rare to find the red one you don't see the red one too often either but it is very nice you have the two button clasped right there and then the plaid underneath the collar Size XL, we have this Cross Colors Playboy shirt. This is vintage, you could tell by the weight of this shirt, as well as Made in USA. Size large, but could fit like a medium. We have this Browns. I wonder if there's a timestamp. There's not, but the print is football players. Let me see if I can show this on camera. Is the back even better? Okay, so the print I thought was just like an acid wash or like a bleach job almost, but if you look really closely, it is football players. See that football player right there? See that one right there? And it goes throughout the shirt, even on the back. So this shirt is sick. Made in USA, so vintage Cleveland Browns. Again, fits like a medium. Seems like large to XL, we have this Star Wars. Size medium, dumb and dumber. It's like a small Polo Ralph Lauren, the lime green with the navy hits. Size medium, 100% silk Robert Stock vintage bomber. This thing is really nice. I'm trying to get a close up on like the detail. I'm not too sure exactly what the detail is. Let me try to see it says player I can't even it's so hard to tell like when I edit the video I'll probably be able to tell but looking like up close it's really hard to tell but really nice again 100% silk super soft size 54 which I don't know what that is XL 2XL we have the it's actually really heavy the Reebok Michael Vick Eagles all embroidered patch, no screen printing. Nick number seven. Vintage Nike that does not have a size tag, but I would say fits like a medium. It's kind of strange how they have that. It's like, almost like if it's like a misprint. Size small, we have this Helly Hansen raincoat, all blacked out. I wonder if this is a woman's piece. No, I guess it's just small. Seems small though. And then it says Helly Hansen protection. And unfortunately, that's all we have for today's video. I thought that we had a lot more. But I think we did end up getting some nice things. That Fubu leather jacket is really nice. Again, this trip to the thrift video will be uploaded tomorrow for the 100th vlog. Make sure you guys go check it out. It's going to be a unique vlog. It's not going to be anything like it. Or I think it's not going to be anything like it. I haven't edited it yet. But like I said, I'm going to be putting some crazy effects. I'm going to be putting music. I'm going to be putting just a lot of things. It's going to be very cinematic, hopefully. I don't know. It might be 
the worst trip to the thrift ever. But I'm going to try something different. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow for another EMC vlog. If you like this video, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Mama 17, five, same color t-shirt. White. Mama told me, uh, not to sell word. Mama 17, five, same color.